All right, what's up guys? Hey, today we got a pretty good adventure planned. This is a place I've been wanting to go look at for a couple months. Uh, actually found it right before Cracked the Case when we went on that uh, sandbar camping trip. And uh, so, been pretty excited to go out and check it out. Over this last week, been putting some hours on the plane here locally and, and uh, yeah, it's doing really well. So, I think it's time to take it on its first real adventure. So, let's roll that intro and uh, we're gonna dive right in. All right, first stop of the day here in Swatch, Colorado. Beautiful place. The north end of the big valley, uh, the San Luis Valley, that is. And uh, got some weather kind of around the area. It's a little windy here, but uh, for the most part, it's been a pretty nice flight. That section I came through in the mountains was, oh, it was absolutely gorgeous. So, anyway, good pit stop. Uh, I gotta bring up cameras and then. Uh, I think the area I'm wanting to land, I'm pretty sure, is up there on that big plateau. So it's not too far away, I know that. So we're going to go check that out and uh, see if we can land there. And try not to put the tailwheel in that hole. You know, guys, I got to tell you, you know, there's a lot of different things you can do with an airplane. And for those of you guys that fly, you probably understand what I'm talking about. You can go out and have a really relaxing time. You can go out and be white knuckled fighting a crosswind or getting running from weather. 
and, and just having really intense extreme time and kind of everything in between. But, you know, I love I love going out here and finding these new spots to land. There's just something about landing in a place where nobody else has ever landed, or at least most likely, you know, in a lot of these spots. It's, it's a neat feeling. You know, it's like almost like you're discovering something um, or experiencing something that nobody else has ever experienced before. And there's just a really, it's just a really cool adventure to go out and find these new places. And of course, it's risky. There's definitely a risk involved and a lot of things that can go wrong. And uh, it's, it's, it's stressful. These days of, of flying, you know, hours and hours to go to these places and search and try to figure out how to land there and then get back home, it really does take it out of you. Um, it's pretty intense stuff, but man, it really makes you feel like you're alive. friends welcome to BLM paradise this turned out to be way better than I thought so I landed on a couple of these plateaus and there's still the big one up there to explore I haven't even hit that yet I was over on that one uh, first it's pretty steep and pretty round and it's basically dead calm which means my ground speed it's hot and we're at 9,000 or so so my ground speed is high but it allows me to hit these from just about any angle, which is good. So I can land uphill and stuff like that. So even though some wind could be favorable, it can also, of course, be terrible if you're trying to land downhill. So I'll, I'll take the comb. Uh, but anyway, there is a whole bunch of these plateaus and ridges and all sorts of stuff to land on here. There's a big old area of BLM right here. This is, this is actually better than expected. What a cool place to come out and play. So, absolutely awesome day. Only bummer I'm having is um, my oil temperatures are still too high. Even my water temperature is a little high. And uh, so all that shrouding I did and I guess didn't do any good. So I'm gonna have to try something else, which um, it's a bummer. Might have to add another cooler or something. I really didn't wanna have to do that, but I thought this bigger cooler would be enough. But anyway, uh, you know, it's it's within the limits. It's just I don't like getting it up to 230. And I even saw 235 for a little bit there. All right, guys. I don't know. I may drag out the drone. I may go hit some other spots. But, man, this is awesome. God, it feels good to be out here enjoying this.
well, this spot is absolutely amazing, but it's so steep I can't actually climb up it to turn around. So I am stuck <laughs> on the side of the hill. I'm gonna have to move it around by hand. What I think I'll do is I'll walk and find the best path, clear off the big rocks, so I can get some momentum. So I was headed to get fuel when I spotted this beautiful valley running up the side of the hill, this cutout in the trees, and I thought, man, that'd be awesome to land there. So I started making a few scouting passes, you know, down the hill. You know, going down the hill, I can get down a little lower and slower and really look for rocks because, you know, it's open out the front. What I was noticing, though, was that it looked fairly smooth and flat, but I had a pretty good tailwind if I'm going to land uphill. Now... This, these are some of the decisions you have to make when you're landing in places like this or, or taking off as well. And there are times where I'll take off uphill into the wind. And it depends on how strong the wind is, how steep the hill is, the altitude, the performance of the airplane. All those things, of course, matter. In this case, I decided I was going to indeed land uphill. It doesn't really look like it in the video, but it's actually just too steep to get it to touch down on the downhill, even with a headwind. You might be able to get down low and then raise the flaps to get it to plop in, but your braking is pretty severely reduced when you're on a pretty good downhill like that. You can brake a lot harder when you're pointed up up a hill. So I decided to land with a tailwind. It was a little sporty. The last time I had looked on short final, I saw 75 mile an hour ground speed. And of course, that's partly due to the altitude and partly due to the tailwind. Made for a little bit of a sporty landing, but I'll tell you what, it was worth it. This was a beautiful place in the mountains.
All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this adventure in the mountains. I know I sure did. Sure feels good to be back out there exploring. Thanks for hanging out. Please subscribe if you haven't. And a big thank you to my Patreons. All right, guys, see you on the next one.